Have you ever wondered how Zen wisdom could shape the way of a warrior? The principles of Zen Buddhism have profoundly influenced various aspects of culture and philosophy, including the world of martial arts. One of the most intriguing examples of this influence is found in the life of the legendary swordsman Miyamoto Musashi. Musashi's approach to martial arts and life itself was significantly shaped by the teachings of a Zen Buddhist monk, Takuan Soho. Despite never wielding a sword himself, Takuan's understanding of Zen and his insights into the human mind had a profound impact on Musashi's philosophy. Their intellectual exchange, captured in a collection called The Unfettered Mind, offers a remarkable testament to the power of Zen wisdom. So, join us as we delve into the fascinating relationship between Takuan Soho and Miyamoto Musashi. Takuan Soho and Miyamoto Musashi lived during a critical period in Japan's history. Their lives, while distinct in many ways, shared an underlying theme of mastery and discipline that continues to inspire individuals across the globe. Takuan Soho, born in the late 16th century was not just a Zen monk, but a spiritual luminary who left an indelible mark on the world. As a young man, he quickly rose through the ranks of his monastery, demonstrating a deep understanding of Zen principles and a unique ability to articulate them. His wisdom extended beyond the confines of his order, influencing a wide range of disciplines, from poetry and calligraphy to tea ceremony and martial arts. His writings, particularly the unfettered mind, reveal a mind that sought to transcend the mundane, to touch the essence of existence. His words continue to provide guidance to those seeking clarity of mind and purpose. In contrast, Miyamoto Musashi, born in the same era, wielded a sword instead of a monk's staff. Known as one of the most skilled swordsmen in history, he won his first duel at the tender age of 13. Over the course of his life he engaged in over 60 duels, remaining undefeated. His book, The Book of Five Rings, encapsulates his philosophy on martial arts and strategy, and is considered a classic text on both subjects. But Musashi was more than a formidable swordsman. He was also a painter, a sculptor, and a philosopher. His works of art, like his duels, were expressions of his deep understanding of life and death, victory and defeat. Despite their different paths, their lives intersected in a profound way. Takuan's teachings and his correspondence with Musashi brought together the worlds of Zen Buddhism and martial arts, influencing Musashi's approach to swordsmanship and life. It's a fascinating tale of two extraordinary individuals whose legacy continues to inspire and enlighten us, reminding us that the journey to mastery is as much about the mind as it is about the body. Takuan Soho and Miyamoto Musashi's intellectual exchange is preserved in The Unfettered Mind. These letters filled with wisdom and insight provide a fascinating glimpse into the minds of two extraordinary individuals. Takuan Soho, a revered Zen monk, was not a swordsman. Yet, his understanding of Zen principles and the human mind deeply influenced Musashi, one of the greatest swordsmen in Japanese history. Their correspondence transcended the realm of swordsmanship, delving into the profound depths of Zen wisdom. In these letters Takuan imparted teachings that went beyond technique and strategy. He encouraged Musashi to cultivate a clear, focused mind especially in the heat of battle. This concept, known as Mushin or No Mind, is a state of mind free from distractions and preconceptions. It's about being fully present in the moment, absorbing and responding to the unfolding reality without clinging to thoughts or emotions. Takuan's words challenged Musashi to look beyond the physical aspects of martial arts, urging him to explore the interconnectedness of all things. He emphasized the importance of being fully present regardless of the circumstances. This wisdom was not just about being a better swordsman but about navigating life with grace, clarity, and compassion. Takuan's teachings also highlighted the importance of adaptability. He wrote, The mind must be like water, capable of flowing freely and adapting to any situation. Only then can true mastery be achieved. He urged Musashi to seek serenity amidst chaos and strength in the face of adversity. He reminded Musashi that the greatest weapon is not the sword, but the mind. Cultivate it well, and you will conquer any foe, he wrote. He also encouraged surrendering to the flow of the universe, finding power in letting go, and choosing battles wisely. Through these letters, Musashi was encouraged to embrace the concept of Mushin, or, no mind. Takuan's wisdom, encapsulated in these timeless letters, continues to inspire and guide martial artists and seekers of enlightenment. It serves as a profound testament to the enduring power of wisdom, compassion, and the disciplined mind. Takuan's teachings pushed Musashi to delve deeper into the true essence of martial arts. 
This was a journey that took Musashi beyond the mere physicality of swordsmanship, into a realm of introspection and spiritual growth. It was not about how to wield a sword, but how to wield one's mind. Takuan's wisdom was a beacon that guided Musashi through the fog of conflict and chaos. He emphasized that the mind must be like water, capable of flowing freely and adapting to any situation. This was a lesson in flexibility and resilience, qualities that Musashi integrated into his martial arts practice and his life philosophy. The concept of Mushin, or no mind, was a cornerstone of Takuan's teachings. He urged Musashi to cultivate a state of mind free from distractions and preconceptions, a state where the mind is not fixed on anything and is connected to everything. In this state, the mind could respond intuitively to the demands of the moment without being hindered by thought or emotion. This was a radical shift for Musashi who was accustomed to a strategic and calculated approach to combat. But as he embraced the principles of Zen, he began to understand that true mastery was not about control, but about surrender, not about force, but about flow. He learned to let go of desire, fear, and judgment, and in doing so, discovered a sense of tranquility and strength that transcended the battlefield. Takuan's teachings also emphasized the interconnectedness of all things. He taught Musashi that every action, every decision, every thought has consequences that ripple out into the universe. This was not a lesson in morality or karma, but a call to mindfulness, to be fully present in each moment, aware of one's actions and their potential impact. Takuan emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of being fully present in the moment. His teachings were not just about how to fight, but how to live. They were lessons in courage, compassion, and wisdom, lessons that continue to echo through the annals of martial arts, shaping the minds and hearts of warriors both on and off the battlefield. Their correspondence left behind a legacy of wisdom and insight that continues to inspire to this day. This legacy, born from the intellectual exchange between Takuan Soho, the Zen monk, and Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary swordsman, is a testament to the enduring influence of Zen principles on martial arts and beyond. Takuan's teachings, encapsulated in their preserved letters, continue to resonate with martial artists and seekers of enlightenment. His words, laced with profound wisdom, encouraged Musashi to look beyond the physical realm of swordsmanship and delve into the deeper, more spiritual aspects of martial arts. Takuan's concept of Mushin, or no mind, has become a cornerstone in the philosophy of many martial arts disciplines. This state of mind, free from distractions and preconceptions, allows practitioners to respond instinctively and effectively in the heat of battle. It's not just about physical prowess, but mental agility and resilience. The Zen monk's emphasis on the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of being fully present in the moment has also left an indelible mark on martial arts culture. Today these principles are echoed in the teachings of countless dojos around the world. They remind us that the journey to mastery is not just about honing techniques, but also about cultivating a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relationship with the world around us. In a world that's increasingly fast-paced and chaotic, Takuan's teachings offer a much-needed reminder of the importance of inner peace and mental discipline. They encourage us to find strength in adversity and serenity in chaos. This is not just applicable to the practice of martial arts, but to the challenges we face in our daily lives. The bond between Takuan and Musashi transcended the boundaries of their time leaving behind a legacy of wisdom and insight that continues to inspire. And as we delve into the teachings of this revered Zen monk, we're reminded that true mastery lies not only in the perfection of technique, but in the cultivation of a disciplined mind and a compassionate heart. Let's explore some of Takuan's most profound teachings. The mind must be like water, capable of flowing freely and adapting to any situation. Only then can true mastery be achieved. This lesson reminds us that adaptability and flexibility, not rigidity, lead to mastery. In the midst of chaos, find serenity. In the face of adversity, find strength. This is the path to enlightenment. Takuan urges us to find calm and strength within ourselves regardless of our external circumstances. The greatest weapon is not the sword but the mind. Cultivate it well, and you will conquer any foe. Here, Takuan emphasizes the power of the mind over physical prowess. Do not seek to control the outcome, but rather surrender to the flow of the universe. In letting go, you will find true power. This teaching encourages us to trust in the natural flow of life and to relinquish the illusion of control. The true warrior is not defined by the battles he wins, but by the battles he chooses not to fight. 
This profound statement underscores the importance of wisdom and discernment in conflict. These timeless lessons transcend the realm of martial arts and speak to the universal pursuit of personal growth and enlightenment.